Hello, my name is Allison Sullivan and I'm an MPA student in Xavier University, Louisiana. The title of my research project is Perceived Neighborhood Characteristics and Cognitive Function Among Older Adults Examin Examining the Role of Depression. My research advisors are Dr. Amy Theory and Dr. Kyler Sherman Wilson. Background and purpose. African Americans have a higher risk of cognitive impairment, including dementia and Alzheimer's disease compared to whites. Exposure to neighborhood stressors may be implicated in a greater risk for worse cognitive functioning. African Americans disproportionately reside in neighborhoods that lack health promoting resources. Due to residential segregation and concentrated poverty, African Americans may be more likely to negatively perceive their neighborhoods. Thus, African American neighborhoods may create an increased risk for declines in cognitive functioning due to the various imposed stressors. Moreover, the existing body of literature lacks in examining the role of the association between neighborhood characteristics and cognitive function with depression. The purpose of the study was to determine the mediating and moderating role of depression in the association between neighborhood characteristics and cognitive functioning in older black and white adults, as the theoretical framework shows. Methods and results. The population sample was 7,620 African Americans and white 65 and older who participated in the health and retirement study wave 20, 2012 to 2016. Cognitive functioning was measured as a continuous variable using the sum scores of patients' performance in intermediate and delayed work called objective naming and serial subtraction. The scores range from 0 to 35, where lower scores are associated with low cognitive functioning. Perception about neighborhood cleanliness, safety, and social cohesion were scaled 1 to 7, with higher scores indicating worse perceptions about neighborhood characteristics. Depression was measured using the Center for Epidemiology Studies depression scale as a dichotomous variable. The depression scores range from 0 to 8 using a greater than equal to three cutoff to categorize adults with depression. The relationship between cognitive functioning and perceived neighborhood characteristics across race was analyzed using linear regression models stratified for African Americans and whites. Mediation was assessed by using the depression variable by inserting the depression variable into the regression models for cognitive function and perceived neighborhood. Moderating role of depression was tested using a interaction term that was multiplied, that multiplied depression by each neighborhood characteristic. Results show a negative association between neighborhood characteristics and cognitive functioning for whites. Depression moderated the re relationship between negative between neighborhood perception of cleanliness and cohesion and cognitive functioning among whites. Among African Americans, there were not any statistically significant relationships between neighborhood perceptions and cognitive functioning. Depression did not moderate the role between any neighborhood characteristics and cognitive functioning among blacks. However, depression did negatively affect cognitive functioning in Black. Discussion slash conclusion. Depression was associated with lower levels of cognitive functioning for both Blacks and whites, thus confirming that depression is associated with a worse, with worse cognitive functioning scores. Among whites, depression was found as a moderator between cognitive function and neighborhood characteristics of cleanliness and social cohesion. Acknowledging that whites who are depressed have a more negative neighborhood perception perceptions with lower, were associated with lower cognitive functioning scores compared to whites who were not depressed. On the other hand, there were no moderating effects of depression among Blacks.